Hello, welcome to Aerial Essentials. We are here to help you rig your hammocks today, and we're gonna be discussing two possible options. We've got hammock rings, and we've got hammock hitches. Now both are safe, easy, reliable ways of rigging and are available on aerialessentials.com. Let's begin with our hammock hitches. Rated for over 3,000 pounds, these are made from aramid fibers and are about 14 inches long. Now we're gonna be creating what's called a prusik hitch by passing the end with the label around your fabric and through itself three times. Simply pass it through twice, take a second to pull it nice and tight so you have a little bit of extra room for that last loop. Now once you get that third loop in, I like to take a second again and just make sure everything is lining up nice and clean as you pull it tight. And then at the end, tying a simple stopping knot in the tail. This prevents any kind of slippage and now you're ready to rig. The best part about Prusik hitches and using a hammock hitch is that when you want to adjust the usable length of your hammock, you don't need to untie a knot, readjust the hammock, and then retie the same knot again the way you would with a hammock ring. Instead, you can just apply pressure to the hitch and slide it down the usable length of your hammock until it's the height that you want and rig it up again. This is super useful for when you've got a low ceiling, you're rigging at home, and you can adjust the height of your hammock without a ladder, or if you're in a studio setting and you need to adjust the length of the hammock for each individual client that comes in. Now that brings us to a pair of these three inch hardened steel hammock rings rated for over 5,000 pounds each. Now there's a whole bunch of different ways to tie your fabric onto a hammock ring, but let me show you the way that we think works best, not just because it's easy to tie, but it's also very easy to untie after the hammock has been stretched tight and those knots are locked in place. So we begin by slipping the tail of your fabric through your hammock ring and pulling it out about a yard of fabric to begin with. We're going to put a loop in your tail, take your ring and slide it right through that loop. Uh, we're gonna tighten this up nice and tight by grabbing your tail, pulling that all together and then taking your tail and looping it back through the, the loop that you just created. Instead of pulling this tight first, we're gonna grab onto the base and have the whole knot cinch up onto that hammock ring as tight as we can get before now finally tightening up from both sides. At this point, I like to add just a simple half hitch around your pole to lock that tail in place. And now you're ready to rig. There are lots of other ways and other pieces of equipment that you can repurpose to hang your hammocks, and many of them are possibly safe. But if you're here looking for answers, this is what we recommend. Hammock rings and hammock hitches. They're safe, they're easy, they're reliable, and they're the industry standard in professional rigging. So, both available from aerialessentials.com, we hope that you rig right and fly well.